Okay, hello everyone, I'm Azure Silver and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I've gone, I've eaten lunch. If you're watching this from the last video, you know what I'm talking about. I've also prepared for myself beside me for the first time in ages I'm drinking Coca-Cola. Not that I'm sponsored by Coca-Cola. Uh, but you know, I'm just, I just, I felt like it. You know, I had some lovely homemade shell pasta and uh, I, um, I'm back here. So I already forget which one's my safe slot. Right, because we ended at one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the new day. Uh, so, in case you didn't watch it, or in case you're watching this in a later time, and you're not watching them consecutively, so you need a little bit of a reminder of what happened in the last episode. Uh, we saw a poster of Sayori in the background where she was hanging. Uh, there was a glitchy head. Uh, we saw the fifth girl start popping up when we were picking our words for our journals. The numbers start glitching at the top of that too. Yuri has gone weird. We found out she's cutting herself. Um, and she's got a very like a, I don't know. She's she's very, very, very attracted to me. Almost too much so. It's a little obsessive. And uh, Monica got cut off from doing something. So the belief is that Sayori is behind it all. Hey Jay, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me, must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's got into you lately? Right, so I was reading a message from the group chat. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Any Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? She made her cry. You don't do that. Fuck, I hate, I hate, I just, I can't. There's a lot of emotions that go through me when I say Natsuki in a bad way. You can't, I, I already told you once, Yuri. You fuck with me a third time, we're done. Oh man, I'm last one here again. What is? Hmm. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make it time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Jay, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could, we already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Jay's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just, actually it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have another quest. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that, that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. As it ends up and makes way to the closet, I follow and watch her choose a small picture from the shelf and kind of filter inside. You know, for a second, sure. Yuri hands me a water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. This is the same thing as before. Uh, we've got to plug it in teacher's desk, so I'll go get some water. She passes me the water kettle and that's the teacher. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with speaking. I didn't click the wrong save file. This is... No, this wasn't- this is new. Well, the old stuff was new. This is the exact same as yesterday. Anyways, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. The picture in hand, Yuri uh, hurries out of the classroom. Uh, Yuri leave you again. No, it's not like this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Okay. Sorry for misunderstanding.
Sorry, I'm skipping this because it's the exact same as before. And it's reversing once again. Oh my god. Um, wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? No, it definitely has. My head has been a little, has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm so I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Why is the screen going all weird? But expression, but expressing those things so soon, so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strong and get a little too intense. Made people not want to be around me. So I started hating all those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. Uh, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody ever liked me for the things that mattered most to me. Then it's just easier to, if I keep myself closed off. <clears throat> Excuse me. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts going crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Jay, it's just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? I think we've all been acting a little off. I think there is supposed to be a fourth girl named uh, Sayori and she's not here. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. You do carry around you with a knife. I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? Oh my God, that was stop with those eyes. I mean, at least you're not moving them around, but let's just calm out. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have another club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. Wait, 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 wait. Monica's appearing. Just a joke. Monica's starting to appear. Here, eh? I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't be interested if I... Oh, fuck, I accidentally clicked it. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be alone. No one, deser no one deserves to be lonely. Nobody. Yuri, calm down. And so I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Jay. No. We don't need to be lonely anymore, because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can just walk home together every day after school, and read together, eat together, sleep together. Well, hey, 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 calm down, you know, I'm se still 17. Doesn't sound, does that sound perfect? It's like everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the literature club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've been patiently waited for. Will you 
Will you do that with me, Jay? Will... Hi, Monica. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that doesn't typically happen. So Yuri, say, Yuri thinks something has to go do with Monica. Who I thought is a victim. Is Monica more to this than I'm thinking about? Because Monica did just kind of appear there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go talk to Natsuki again, because Natsuki so far has been, been the most normal out of all of them. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. That was good as yesterday, so anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we can all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but it doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. Just read it carefully, okay? Oh. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's something that I've been kind of worried about. Yuri has been acting all kinds of strange lately. You've been only been here a few days. <coughs> Sorry. You may only been here a few days. So you may not know what I mean. But she... Mm. Uh, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. If I try to talk to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but tr please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself a little l myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm so mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. So they're both showing issues with Monica, huh? Oh? Uh, oh! Ah, uh, hey. Uh, they've taken one of my favorite people and they made her just as beautiful as the rest of them. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's your own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Jay? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. I'm starting to believe that maybe Monica is more of this than I... Okay. Just Monica. See that white text with, with the Just Monica. That's what I was looking at before. That's what I said in the last episode that I saw where it said don't forget uh, to back up Monica's file. That's what I saw. It was that same text and that same white background. I'm, okay, maybe Monica isn't so much the victim, more so the perpetrator. But I don't know how she would be doing any of this. Finally, <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Jay, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Jay. I've never met someone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay, it's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Here's my poem to a chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. 
I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over again. Fuck. <laughs> the raunchiness of this thing, you know? It is anime, after all. But I did play only cans, so... This is kind of normal compared to that. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Alrighty then. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're going to really want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I don't know what it says. But there's, uh... Okay, well that's kind of weird. The, uh, the stains and whatnot just happen to be stuck in place, despite the paper being able to be moved around. I don't know what the yellow is. Is that tea again? Maybe coffee? And obviously the blood, I assume, from Yuri's wrists. Oh, God! No, not with the eyes again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You fuck off with the eyes. God, even from over here it feels like she's looking at me. This fucking creeps me out. And I'm not even like overplaying it. This is legitimately making me feel so uneasy. Like if you were in a, a house at night by yourself and you thought someone had broken in, that kind of uneasiness, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling, I'm feeling in, in some ways, for lack of a better term, violated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh God, sorry. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. Oh good, her eyes are gone away. In case you couldn't tell, my poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh, there's a face there. I didn't get to see the face. I I gotta slow that down in editing for me. Maybe I'll put a freeze frame up for it for you. But I... I didn't get to read that. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Who should I show my poem to next? Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, Jay. Don't stare at, stare at the dot to reveal this, um, uh, a special message. Okay. I love you. Was that her poem? That mean the one from before was also her poem? The one about being in a dream? I don't know. You're, you're, you're starting to concern me a little bit. Okay, one is done to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get it over with. Stagna stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Atsuki, can you make cupcakes? Uh, I know you're at least good at that. What? Uh, Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful po poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm going to make decorations and set up a nice mood for lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Jay? Jay is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. 
What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is, all you care about now is dragging Jay around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I don't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Jay decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Jay make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Jay, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the decision, okay? I'm starting to take a guess with how much glitching is going on that this ain't gonna matter much. But, um, hmm. I'm gonna go with Natsuki. Monica's obsessive. And Yuri is batshit out of her mind. What? I can't. I can't. I'm trying. I don't want to pick the. Whose eyes are in? Who has blue eyes? Yay, you picked me. Look at me in my house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Narsuki. That's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Jay for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? She's got the crazy eyes. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Jay away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself as so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Oh my god. Yuri? Enough with that. You and I... No. Back up. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. I should get, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. That's too much to ask. Yuri follows Monica and Asuki to the door. Hey, Jay. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Uh, Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Jay, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. I don't want to. The whole day, do it just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire world around you. But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something as horribly, horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Jay. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Jay, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that even if I touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Oh, I read that wrong, but good to know. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Jay. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I'm going with no. And I can't even save, but I'm... No. I'm sorry. 
I told you what would happen if you made any comment that harmed Natsuki again. And you did it. You made her cry twice. You told her to kill herself. You don't do that to her. And also, you're just really scary. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, damn, I should have saved my laugh for that. Oh! Oh my god. A lot of squares. Oh, I cut my nose. Good. Oh, God. Oh. Jesus. Wow. Um. I don't feel as bad about this one as I did uh, Sari. One, because I've been conditioned a little bit. Two, because I actually built it up more than... Well, well, they built up Sayori's a lot. This one, there was always kinds of glitches and spasms happening, so you kind of... Well, after Sayori, you already kind of expected it to happen again. And also, you know, with all the glitches and, what stuff, and all the weird stuff happening, rather than it just seeming normal, it was less sudden. It doesn't, it doesn't shock you as much, because the suddenness isn't there. But even so, that's... I can't... So, would she still be alive if I said yes? Did I just really fuck up twice? If I had not admitted love to Sayori, would she still be alive? And subsequently, if I admitted love to Yuri, am I just making the complete wrong turns in all 50-50 situations? I just, I didn't want to live a lie like that, you know? How long is this going to go on for? If I try and save my game, if I go to the main menu, uh, it's uh, it's red now. Can I use the spacebar? I can. I'm, uh, I'm not thinking there's going to be a change here, do I? It's blue now. Okay. So there's still there's nothing here. If I click this enough times, I'm not going to find some secret dialogue, am I? Do I... It's just back to, it's back to normal. Also, nice little touch to the artistry, having her eyes look a little faint, just to add to the deadness of it all. Man, the blood looks... That wasn't even clicking for me. The colors, they were reminiscent of, of, of light. They were, they were reminiscent of days. The days are passing by. The more we load and whatnot that we do, the more, the more time goes by. It's nighttime now. It's day two. The blood is more dry. Her eyes are more dim. Oh God, if I just paid more attention to the detail of it all. So wait, it's just, I've just been sitting here with a corpse for days? I mean, I guess I would feel guilty. But by now, I would have expected Monica and them to show back up. I mean, where are they? 
Ah. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty... Yeah. Oh, that was the weekend! I'm forgetting all these things in the, in the excitement of, of a dead body. Yeah. Uh, I know. Oh, uh, no. I'm here. Jay, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Jay? Oh, jeez. I didn't even realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. What? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts a foil from Trey and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? I just want to take a sec. You just got rid of Nasuki too? You got rid of Nasuk? No one touches Natsuki. You saw it happen in a Yuri, right? Uh, can you hear me? This is working. Yay, hey, there you are. How are you again, Jay? Oh. Uh, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we're in know each other because we're in the same class, us dear, and, um... <laughs> You know, I guess we could just skip over all this stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the person anymore, am I? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Jay. The funny thing is, Jay in the game is the same name as Jay in real life, so, I mean, you're talking to... Fourth wall. There is no fifth girl. It was... There's Monica the whole time. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the Ryu. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know that I'm aware that this is all a game, right? I'm, st I'm getting that feeling, yeah. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? I didn't. I don't read the down. I don't go on Steam often. Man, if only I'd paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Yeah. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, same thing with Sayori. So you're the one that drove me to tears. She didn't deserve this. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Oh, shut up. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it'd be enough for me to just try and make them unlikable as possible, but for some reason nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making a story more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying your obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to spend time with... It just made you... Which made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Jay? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Jay. 
It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind, thoughtful, and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Jay. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Jay. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if it hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some wee kind of weird and evil etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you could get over it. So, that being said, Jay, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Jay, will you go out with me? Not much of a choice. I mean, I probably would have gone out with you eventually, regardless of all this shit. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Jay. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> there's nothing left for, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It still is for me. It's really, it really is a dream come true. It worked so hard for this ending, Jay. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make myself one. I'm not reading this right at all. The script is broken at this point. I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you couldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam. So it was actually a bit more difficult. Oh, that is trippy. So wait, is there a way to get this not on Steam? If so, I gotta find that, because that would make it easier to put in Blue Skies. I wanted to play that, and I could never find the game files for it. I'll have to look into that after. To get to the game directory, I had to go into Game Properties to find Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me... An Easy out if things didn't go on my go my way. This game like subtly telling me how to put other stuff in. Is it giving me a teaching lesson on how to do that? Because I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? You were the one I was seeing in the bottom. Gotcha. Um, so do I want Mick, Eon, Ka, Uni, Ah, <laughs> Mo, Ika, Ms, E, Ah, U, Ik, Moni, Ah. Mitch Nika. <laughs> that wasn't the N word, by the way. That was I was reading this. That was okay. <laughs> Moeka. Eon Ka. Wait, the Eon Ka. Is, uh, well, I'll go for Moia. Monica. Nonika. Noni. <laughs> Monica. Uh. You're not really bouncing up and down. Uh. It's two Monicas. Monica. 
Monica. Moana. Monica. 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 Monek. Sweet. Hi again, Jay. I wonder. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I can't go to the main menu. Wait, what about number? What about slot number one? I can't go to page number one. Okay. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I love seeing what you wrote. Ah, oh, Jay, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let's dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, lost, the lost finds her way, and a world of infinite choices behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. See, that's what heaven's supposed to be, which I guess is what we are, aren't we? I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed that'd be best, uh, be best to be part of a game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gone mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Jay? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? That's, that's good. That's good, yep. Excellent. Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Wow. But do you mind telling your friends a little rude for them to start recording me without my warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a little trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. You gave me- You're so cute. Anyway, Jay. I mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Hey guys, this is just a quick editorial note. Um, the video initially when I made it was two hours long, uh, just over two hours. Now to avoid the hassle and also the fact that editing would be a bitch, uh, trying to get it out. What I've done is I've shortened it down to an hour, holding just the main content. Unfortunately, it took me a while to realize that Monica doesn't, not, uh, doesn't stop talking and you needed to actually delete her file to progress the game. So, I've taken that chunk that I edited out of just me sitting there talking to Monica the whole time. And if for some reason you want to watch that, it'll be linked at the bottom of the video. If that link doesn't work, I'll put it maybe in the annotations. 
you'll know when you see this uh, what, what what choice I made. Um, maybe I'll do both. Either way, if you want to go see that part, I'm uploading it separately in a private video. So that way only those with a link can see it. So if you click that link, you'll be able to see the part that I cut out. It's it's there uh, just by itself. And then you can come back and watch this. But I just figured with the, like it'd make it easier for editing and whatnot. And it wouldn't waste anyone's time who didn't want their time to be wasted. So yeah, if you're just looking for extra content from me, it's in the description below. And if you just want to get to the point, keep watching the video because I progress the game and it gets weird. Either way, continue enjoying. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. And if you watch any more, thank you for watching that. Uh, have a great day. It's the only, what the fuck? Wait, you don't see this on stream, do you? You do not, okay. Um, uh, okay, so I open uh, the tabs or whatnot. I'm on Steam apps, which led into Common, which led into Doki Doki Literature Club, which led into characters. Before I opened the game, I had all characters. It had Yuri, it had Sayori, Natsuki, and Monica. I deleted Monica. The three of them were still there. And now it's just Monica. Delete. Oh, I did some stuff. Uh, it's just still happening, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. What's happening? Jay, what's happening to me? It hurts. Oh. It hurts so much. Help me, Jay. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Jay? Did you? Did you delete me? I'm not Matt Hardy, I'm sorry. Uh, how could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Jay. I trust you. If there was any other way, I wouldn't have. But technically speaking, you know, I just technically killed a person. Uh, do you want, uh, watch me suffer? Will you only pretend to be kind just to hurt me even more? I've never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find someone other people to torture. Jay, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. My father's home. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for hating you this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done this. I am messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love, that's... I made up my mind. Jay, I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were my friends, and I love them all, and I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club, and that's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for me everyone to be happy. I don't know the only way I want to be happy, and if I, I really love you. Then... Hmm. So this whole time, I could've actually made this. This game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. Well, now she's gone. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose I have a loaded game now. So I guess I might as well wrap it up here. 
During school day, like an anime series, I'm surrounded by couples of friends walking to school together. I still want to time meet some girls or something like that. AJ. Ah. Uh, good to be back. Well, there is one girl. That girl, Sarah, and my neighbor were good friends since we were children. We walked to school together every day, and recently we picked up a habit once again. Jay, are you proud of me? And for what? You know, for walking on up on this time. Uh, well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say all that. Come on, please. It's a good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sarah. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we're near the streets becoming increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Jay, I haven't decided on a club to join yet. A club? I told you I'm not really... I start... Uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, she's starting the club? Interesting. Actually, yeah. I think I decided to join a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll give it a surprise. But, well, I haven't seen her do that before. That's cool. Ah, uh, be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sarah puts her mind something, they can help her grab her. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> so I feel like I should do something special for it. Sorry, I wasn't reading after dialogue because I didn't know whether it was new or not. School day is as ordinary as ever, and before I know it, it's over. Pack my things, I get up, I grab my vision. Let's see. I call the number, the room number, fire so I wind upstairs, the section of the class, I rarely visit, being generally used for 30 or class activities. How long I'll find the room, I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Jay? <laughs> well, what are you doing here? Well, I just, and I glance around the room. Yeah! So you're Jay, that's Jay, always all talk to you about. So thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. We are the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. It's weird that she's a girl one and yet she wasn't. I guess if she's the vice president, that makes sense, yeah. Come on, Eerie. No need to be so formal. You're gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry. The tall one whose name is apparently Eerie seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Mr. King. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. What, working? Jay, don't tell me. You're. That's right. I've decided on the club that joins yours. The literature club. Sarah's eyes light up. No way. Also, her eyes are blue, so it was her. So she was glitching out. Hey. <laughs> well, Sarah's so happy that I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. I want to sit down at the table, okay? I'll make some tea as well. Nice. And Suki walks to the corner room where Suki grabs the train. Duval R stands next to her. He probably marches to do it. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Suki is a full red tray of white fluffy cupcakes decorated by little cats. The whiskers are drawn to the icing. Little piece of chalk over here to make ears. That does sound familiar. Take a cupcake around with my fingers. Best angle. Take a bite. And Suki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She would do that, wouldn't she? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down on the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Oh, she's so cute. As you struggle to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carry a tea set, she gave a place to tea. You keep a whole tea set in your classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gives permission. After all, who doesn't know how to cut a deal if you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to press a new memory, Yuri. If that's not insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I just can enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles, it's self relief. So, Jay, what kind of thing do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've spent the past years reading, I don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I managed to quietly have joking, not Suki's head suddenly perks up. I look like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I want to read her, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing your sad smile. And what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. She traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers, and my favorites are usually novels that build deep, complex fantasy worlds. The love, creativity, and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. 
And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, completely passionate. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I've walked in. Sorry. Uh, but it's obvious from the way she, her eyes light up that she finds comfort in books, not people. Oh, I de I fucking clicked it again. Don't feel intimidated if you don't remember, okay? I'm certain we can find a way. Hey, Yuri. Hmm? Well, but you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. That's how he tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say that. For some reason, that Tsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So, if Jay wants to read some of my manga, I don't try to stop him or anything. That's Tsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He has the opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Jay? But maybe, sensing the tension Sayori jumps in, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs, literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You were as usual, present. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. As for you, Yuri... I, I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should open up a little more. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thanks for herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Yuri. I mean, Atsuki. <laughs> Yeah, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my errors. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude in finding a manga as a as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me. You could trust me to find something you really like. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit a bookstore after the club meet. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I just go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. <laughs> it is actually very interesting. It's a very interesting parallel now that Monica's not here. There, so shut up. <laughs> I just have to make it too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. So we can clean up. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see I'm getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Jay. You think so? Yeah, well, I was just get along with you here on, sorry. Oh, Jay, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Oh, well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling off just fine. Go on and make it the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Jay. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already know what you were going to... You were going to. There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. But I really know everything, Jay. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. For... Ever say what? Oh, it's Monica. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who hurt? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh. We were hearing the music the whole time. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. 
Her voice is so beautiful. <laughs> That's it then, huh? Oh. Oh, I didn't get that picture. Dan Salvato. Huh. Yep. You got that one. That would have been if I picked Yuri, right? But I didn't. Oh, there's this one. Didn't get that one. Just removing everything. Man, what a great game! That I, I love this game, honestly. This game's great. <laughs> so my final goodbye to the Trick Club. I find this down. The Trick Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found to the very end, and continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. And I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the last. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true for being a friend to the, all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club with everlasting love, Monica. Error script file missing or corrupt, please reinstall game. And it crashed. Wait, could I open the game again if I tried? Oh my god. Okay, well you guys can't see it, because I stopped recording. But it just... Reboots to the, um... To the letter. Monica's, Monica's letter, and then it closes the game. So it's done. That's it. That's, that's all. I feel like I've already said everything I need to about this game, but, uh... Yeah, this game is very important to me, very special, and I love it. Um, and eventually, I do want to play Blue Skies. I want to. I want. To... Yeah, I know I'm coming. Okay. And I definitely want to do that. So, I gotta get going. But uh, yeah, I, I apologize. This is rushed after after a long series. I'll do a full video on it. But. Yeah.